Astronomer Andy Howell is trying to see a huge asymmetrical supernova-like explosion up close. But to get the powerful death blast of a star right, this has to be a monster bang. All right, here we go. I get to light my own supernova. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Man, that was a bang. Damn. <laughs> It was so fast, it was just unbelievable. <laughs> scared the hell out of everybody. Oh, wow. I felt the explosion, it really felt like I got the kicked out of me. That was really like a supernova. All right, hopefully that was the one. Oh, that is cool. That looks a lot like a supernova. I mean, it actually looks better than a supernova in a lot of ways. In a supernova, we just see this distant point of light, and we can't really resolve all the details. But here, we can see all these fast-moving bits that are just flying away. That's just like in a real supernova. We often get little blobs of calcium racing out a tenth the speed of light. And you can see there's all these turbulent eddies where gas is turning over from these instabilities you have in the explosion. And this is exactly like what we see in the modern simulations of supernovae. In real life, things are really messy and turbulent and mixed up. We're just starting to be able to do on a computer what nature does when you blow something up. So what does this tell us? Could the blast from an asymmetrical explosion in deep space reach the Earth? You know, it's nice to admire them from afar, but if you got it really close, you know, these are big, giant explosions that are taking place out there in space, and you wouldn't want to get too close. Today, astronomers are watching one particular star 8,000 light years away that could be a real threat to Earth. Eta Car is a really massive star that's pretty close by. When that thing blows up, it's gonna be a big spectacle. It could have blown up already, and the energy could be headed towards us. Light and energy from Eta Carinae takes 8,000 years to reach Earth. So if this star has already gone supernova, it could be sending high energy radiation called gamma rays right at us. If this burst hits Earth, it could wipe out up to half of the ozone layer. Almost all living things would die within hours. And then the planet could cool so rapidly it would trigger a new ice age. Luckily, Ada Carinae's line of sight is tilted about 45 degrees off the path of Earth. So its deadly gamma ray burst would be a near miss. And we dodge a bullet. 